Now something completely different. But don't take my word for it. Just ask John Blackstone. Excited crowds seem to expect the unexpected. It's a, it's a wild ride. Yeah, crazy, huh? As they gathered outside a theater in New York City last weekend for the opening of Gary, a new play starring Nathan Lane. And though Lane is the show's star, everyone wanted to have their picture taken with just one person, Taylor Mack. Thank you. It's the playwright and performer's first turn on Broadway. It's very rare for something like this to be on Broadway, so I think it's exciting and fun. Uh, I, I hope that people celebrate it. Many critics have. Others have not. But then again, eliciting strong reactions is something of a specialty for Taylor Mack, whose other show, a 24-decade history of popular music, earned a Pulitzer nomination among many other accolades. I do have a lot of awards that say unique. <laughs> and I always think, is that a caveat? <laughs> but, but, I, but I'm very happy for them. <laughs> I mean, somebody's got to be unique. There's no doubt unique definitely describes the 24-hour show. When we've been here, ten thousand years. In it, Max sings 246 songs spanning American history, dressed in the most elaborate drag. People think, oh, I'm coming to a 24-hour show or a six-hour show or four six-hour shows, and they think, oh, how can I do that? But because of all the stuff we ask them to do, the time goes by very quickly. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to have a ping-pong ball fight. If a ping-pong ball hits you, you're not allowed to use that part of your body again in the fight. It sounds crazy, but there's almost always a method to Taylor Max madness. The goal isn't to kill them. <laughs> it isn't to totally break them. Five more hours of show. <laughs> but it is to challenge them and to put them through something that they wouldn't normally go through. It's about taking a risk. This is a risk. Judges, my name is Gary. Now In fact, Nathan Lane says Gary may be Mac's riskiest venture yet. <laughs> it's certainly a challenge for us to show it to you on television. You make a cut in the main artery. I prefer the armpit to the groin as it seems less invasive. Taylor is, you know, he's this brilliant mind, but he has an agenda. He has a theatrical agenda. Just seems if this is the kind of thing you gotta do on the regular, you might not be living your best life. <laughs> and part of the agenda is, I'm not here to make you comfortable. In fact, I may be here to make you feel uncomfortable. And yet, we're still gonna have a lot of fun. You ever think you don't want to do the job you've been assigned? <laughs> Bodies and body parts litter the stage. So many to choose from. <laughs> Mac wrote it as a sequel to Shakespeare's Titus Andronicus, a play in which, by the end, virtually everyone has been murdered. I wasn't really so much interested in Titus Andronicus as this little clown that was in Titus Andronicus that has a cameo role. Most people may have missed him. Even if you had seen it yesterday, <laughs> you probably would not remember the clown from Titus Andronicus. But few will forget Gary. It's the unlikeliest of black comedies. <laughs> Yet behind all that flatulence... Sorry. ...the play packs a potent political message. All of us have to clean up after our particular political system that's falling apart right now, and um, eventually we are going to have to pick up the pieces <laughs> rather than just continue to fight each other. So what is that going to look like and who's going to have to do it? And, and how are we going to do it is the bigger question. Taylor Mack is determined to keep asking those questions. I don't got to live my life except in the muck no more. And what's that mean? And telling stories in new and unexpected ways. So what story are you choosing to tell? Right now you're telling a casual professional story to the world. You're, you're wearing your, I'm interviewing an artist drag. 
right? And I'm wearing my, I'm being interviewed by CBS drag, right? <laughs> so I want to look a little bit more, you know, a little colorful, but also a little bit more like, oh, people on Sunday morning can invite me into their home. <laughs> so all the world's a stage, indeed. Well, yeah, I mean, Shakespeare said it best. Yeah. And usually does. <laughs>